um, and playing aggressive, but there's going to be a bit of a slower start here with this mid lane lock-in for Genji. But I do like it for team fights later on in the game, and it is going to be pretty strong against the uh, Zaya Rel bot combo when those team fights do arise. Yeah, no, I, I, don't, I don't mind it, I guess, uh, in the context of a late game team fight and things like that. However, I, I do like these comps based around, you know, really enabling Clid. Uh, to get the work done. He will be parked on the top side of the map most likely though, and Kane's gonna do his very best uh, to utilize his Death Realm and make sure that he doesn't fall prey to the Renekton Nidalee combo. But you know, pre-6, it is still going to be pretty volatile here uh, against Kane. So he's gonna have to be smart about how he plays this one out. Dread as well, he might be enabled on this Graves and we've seen Graves banned a lot so far today. Uh, and in uh, yesterday's matches as well. So as we hop onto the Rift, let's have a look to see whether a freak of freaks for life. Can make whose Eclipse keeps him very, very healthy. And now Dread's being look bullied out of his jungle. There's the flash forward. And this is not where the Nidalee Renekton's supposed to work, but it's not doing too badly. And that is going to be the Crab Rave first blood for Clid in the area, or maybe didn't know that there were two people. Yeah. Um, so a little bit unfortunate. There's the Emperor's Divide and special delivery as Clid's going to pick up yet another one. And uh, Wolf... This is starting off pretty horrendously for the Afrika Freaks. Italy gets a lot of items early, especially Night Harvester. Hold that thought. Well, that's a big flash in there from Lahens. They do get the Blade Caller. Ruler just running away, is burning down, but now the turn around and Lahens is just going to get punished. Life burns him down. And Ruler, yes, he soaks a lot of damage, but it's still going to be the kill going yeah. over to Genji. Uh, for Afrika Freaks now. Like, Clid is just like, this jungle is mine now, by the way. Yeah, like, what there. are you even doing here, Dread? Yeah, he gets himself a smite, but uh, there's another cheeky little spear auto, and uh, BDD teleported in. He's like, come on, man, wait for me. Yeah, yeah no. And uh, they've got a lot of vision control here. As you can see, double control warts. Gonna take a lot of hits to take that one down. Fly is gonna get the inside track, moves on over. Clid not gonna find the spear. Onto Shelly as Keen picks it up. Now they're trying desperately to get themselves out of this one. Death Realm is available here for Keen, but I don't know which 1v1 he actually wants to take as he throws it down onto Rascal, but you can see Rascal's pretty happy to take this fight. At least I believe it was onto Rascal. Keen's just getting it was. popped as I, I believe might have been Clid that was in there with him. But it did certainly wear off before then as the flash out of the way of the Emperor's Divide this time as BDD finds himself between a rock and a hard place. And uh, is going to be absolutely fine. Dread is not necessarily going to be, though. Yeah. <laughs> Life is all the way up here. Sorry, this man. This is rough. Zenith Blade is going to miss. But Dread is walking the wrong direction. Now, the alcove not going to save. Doesn't have enough damage to kill Rascal. I think if he had done it, like, really early, he might have been able to. That He's going to be scaling up the late game even slower. And Genji just looks to close this one out. I mean, they are just not even giving any space. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of teleports coming in here as Lahen's going for another attempted play onto Clid. End of the line doesn't really do anything as uh, Keen puts him in the death realm. Clid's trying to get out of there, but he's not going to be able to. Keen picks up that kill for now, but we've traded one for one so far. And Ruler dives on in to try and pick up some more. Bang versus Ruler now trying to fight it out here as he gets a really nice blade caller under Rascal, but he just flashes on in and takes him down. Keen, unfortunately, going to bear the brunt of Ruler's damage as well, but that could have been worse, I guess, for the Afrika could have been a lot worse. Crap. Sit yeah. down, they're just going to drop, drop down a Herald, grab this turret. And they're just grabbing onto this game and they're not going to let it go. No, they're not actually really like this aggressive play out of Gen G. They're going to get rid of the turret and now Keen finds himself in absolutely the wrong place. Uh, the Death Realm does go down. Let's see whether Rascal can actually win the 1v1 because otherwise it could be Keen managing to turn it. But he gets out of the Death Realm and uh, into the awaiting arms of a kitty cat. And Clid's going to help lock down that kill for Rascal. In this case, so. I think they have to just simply give the Baron and just wait, but they're going to uh, they're gonna lose it actively. Yep. <laughs> Bang is going to Feather Storm, gets up into the sky, flashes away. Okay, Rascal's a little bit deep, but he does buy enough time for his team to take the Baron. Bang's able to get his flash and utilize it to get away from the crocodile, but uh, you'd probably take that if you're Gen G, just sacrifice your croc for the good of the Baron. So that's going to work out here as Renekton was on the top side of the map, and oh my goodness, Ouch. Bang's over half healthed by one of those spears. Rascal moves on over. Control ward in the area. But now Afrika are getting corralled again. There's the flash solar flare. It's going to get the feather storm immediately as Death Realm once again for Keen. Can he win the 1v1? Doesn't find the Death's Grasp as the Blade Call is good on to life. Now Keen out of the Death Realm here as Rascal did buy enough time. It looks like Lahens not going to be so lucky as now Dread trying to get out of there. But BDD is just going to press his Zonya's button and it's a double kill for Ruler. And now with only three left to defend and not very healthy uh, it's going to be Genji pushing into the base, and this might just be it. 
I think this is going to be it. I think they are going to push to win. I mean, look, there was 30 seconds before Baron, 15 seconds before the Drake, but you didn't have to be that far up. They were looking for any pick they could potentially get, but you can't be that far up on the map. We talked about sitting back. They certainly decided not to here. Ooh, that's a decent, decent death to Grasp, but unfortunately, it's Grasp Keen uh, towards his death instead. Clid is going to get stunned up by the Blade Caller, but the Nexus turrets are going to evaporate. 27 minutes into this game, and Genji have slaughtered Afrika in game number one. In goes Rascal, looking to try and get those celebratory kills towards the end. And uh, yeah, Lahens just wants nothing to do with this whatsoever. Like the only one trying to take down the Nexus, but it's taken some time. And Bang and Dread just have to watch on in horror as their Nexus gets taken down. But Genji, such clean play until that Emperor's Divide missed. Yeah, a lot of damage out of this Nidalee who does top it uh, for Genji. Yeah, just 100 damage over BDD's Azir, but he did so much in the early parts of the game, and towards the later parts, it was like, if you get hit by a spear, you can't even team fight if you're Afrika. Uh, and we saw that Zaya get hit, the pain got hit down like 55, 60% of his health right before that final fight happened, and they were so pushed up in that moment, but like, you know, we've been talking about the entire time, like, how do you lose the game? Like, what's, what's, <laughs> which option do you choose? Yeah. If you're a freak, uh, I think that they got a little bit impatient towards the later parts of uh, that situation there. And Renekton matchup, but is it going to work out when Nidalee can roam faster oftentimes than Lilia does? Will Lilia be tanking if she's just so squishy to deal with that fight? Like, I'm very concerned about how the top side of the map is going to go here for the Afrika Freaks. Yeah, and we'll see whether Keen can navigate the matchup well. He's currently, uh, throughout his career in the LCK, played Quinn uh, four times. Uh, he's won twice and lost twice. Um, likely into Renekton matchups because that's where she's been pretty specifically uh, blocked down. But like you say, hasn't played it so far this season. Let's see whether Keen can uh, step up to the plate here. But the thing is, I'm I'm just really worried about how this is going to go because this this uh, composition looks very similar to game number one on the Gen G side. And you were adamant about it, and I agree with you that uh, denying Rascal, one of his best champions, and denying Clid the Nidalee would have been a decent idea throughout this game. But let's hop like, into it and see whether they can change it up. Oh, we've got a bit of a change up here as BDD has decided to head up towards the top side. Um, we saw this matchup. This is not a great one. <laughs> yeah, not sure, not sure. As Rascal, he's uh, looking to dice his way out of this one. Dread coming on over, finds the bowling ball, but Face Breaker comes in. Watch out, Eep is good. Rascal's still not flashing. He's going to use it in the end. Right. Now going to be starting this one up. We'll see how Dread's going to do as the rest of Gen G coming on over. BDD has... The Emperor's Divide available. Spear's gonna go wide for now. As it looks like it will likely be a smite 50-50 unless Fly gets in there. Nice face breaker as he pulls back the Renekton and the Azir. Haymaker's decent as Renekton taking a lot of damage. Is going to survive for the moment as he's looking to try and get out of there. That's a great heroic entrance from Fly. But the Gragas is going to be able to clean up the Pigeon on the back end. And now they've been corralled. And he has no flash in order to get out of there. As that was a fail flash. A little bit unfortunate yeah. for the Gragas. And this is huge for a Freaker. Is Lahan necessarily yeah. one that you would expect? But uh, certainly has been a bit more popular. And there's life coming on over. And look, this bottom lane's a bit of a wash right now. Ezreal lanes uh, just tend to be that way. As uh, in goes Lahan's. Oh, the, her blessing. that was just amazing. The cars predicting... The Arcane shift out, and Ruler had absolutely no option there at all. And Lahens back underneath the turret, and that's a double kill for Bang. Beautiful stuff, especially for Lahens. As, uh, yeah, Clid going to have to run away from this turret as well, so going to be denied getting any of the experience over here, and Dread's also going to take it down his Krug camp. In comes BDD, looking to try and tidy this one up. Bowling Ball is going to be secured, and there's the sleep. Onto the Azir as well. He shifts some sands to get on over, but he's just taken down. And that's a third one for Bang here in this exchange. Clid now finds himself with nothing that he can do. And uh, what's happening? Genji at the cleanest game one. Uh, and life moves on in, looking to clear out some vision. Clid standing on a ward as well as they do get the taunt. And that's an Emperor's Divide and a very, very dead Lilia. I don't know what the plan was there. Spy doesn't find the face breaker. Bang getting turned on. He's going to be able to dash away. Sand Soldier's now in position as Rascal jumping on top of Keen. There's the slice of the dice, and there's the cleanup. Prowler's Claw, best item for there you go. guaranteed. I mean, it's a gap closer that allows him to, to actually make sure he sticks to these targets. He had to, you know, follow Flash as well, but he has the opportunity. Yep. And a freak need to just walk away from this Drake. I, I don't think there's any way they can turn this. There is a teleport on Rascal as well, and he's now going to come in. 
And so Fly oh. gets on in there. He might be able to get some work done. This heroic entrance is going to make life untargetable. Buys him enough time and Bang is just dead. Fly now trying to run away, but he's not going to be able to get out. And as quickly as Afrika built themselves a lead, it's been taken away. So with Genji's composition, and if you're out of position for just a second, you will get punished. Oh, Lahens. That was beautifully like that. set up by Clid, but uh, still a little bit sad. Hold on to it, but you're really going to struggle to get value out of it now. Well, BDD, he's going to get teleported on as Keen's taking a lot of damage. There's the stopwatch as Fly trying to get around, gets into the brush, does BDD, but Fly is hunting him down. And then he goes back in, the Shifting Sands, a little bit too good, but Fly is in position, picks him up with a Face Breaker, and uh, we'll see whether Clid survives. He does, gets out of that Haymaker nicely. Life, not a lot of damage here, though. Clid needs to try and land a Spear as there's a Justice Punch. And we'll see whether this spear is going what? to be true. As there's the taunt. That's going to try and set it up. But another Haymaker comes off cooldown and flies. Still running from this one. Burning down just a little bit as the flash <laughs> comes over and Clid is able to lock that one down. But hopefully I'm back to live now as uh, Genji looking for their second Ocean Drake. Fly going to get chipped down just a little bit as Life just playing Goalkeeper. Lens not allowed to get in there as Fly already chunked down by a lot of this poke. That sounds absolutely awful. Yeah, they so have so much poke too. Okay, oh. uh, Ruler just kills Lilia. Goodbye. There you go. Goodbye. Who needs um, mythic items? They're just falling behind now because they're not able to group effectively because Genji has so much map control. They're going to deny... Ooh. Emperor's Divide oh, to one. stop Fly so from good, getting though. in so that they can try and burst down the Baron. I think that's actually really cute. As it's not quite going to work, they should be able to actually get in here as Fly's going to be able to take down the Galio, but the Baron does go to Genji. Can the Ezreal actually kite this one out as Ruler gets out of the pit? Has to walk all the way back around and now he's in a better position. Bang. Gets that Killer Instinct towards the backside, but look at Ruler. He's just free hitting Keen trying to run away. Bang. Going to die as an afterthought as a double kill comes through for Clid. Yeah. And um, Fly looking to try and make his way in as there's a face breaker onto life, but look at the follow-up damage. BDD puts down a soldier and Fly's already half health as now Lahens in a lot of trouble. Has to flash to get himself out of the way. There's a Prowl's Claw again. And Rascal locks up the Gragas. Now Genji will push forward for this inner turret. Fly just having to back there off to the side as Genji. Firm control over this, uh, this map right now. Not exactly the target that Fly wanted. Here is Rascal. Still going to get his face broken as Bang dives on in. Fly Life with a nice flash to get himself out of the way. Rascal now trying to kite this one back as Clid just standing tall. The heroic engine's going to keep him alive as Quinn is going to be taken down there. And oh dear, the cards just falling down one after the other as Afrika trying to do their very best. But the Lilia just dies. And in goes BDD. There's the Flash Emperor's Divide. Goodbye, Bang. And this should be the swift 2-0 for Gen.G. I mean, this was without Ruler, by the way, this fight. Without the Ezreal. Uh, he hits the... Uh, well, would have <laughs> hit it, yeah. The Arcane <laughs> Ship. Uh, it's, it's blocked by the, you know, by the uh, Golden Golden there, but... This was a fight that Genji went 4v5 and win the game. End of the end of story. Very much a great end to what was a very shaky early game for this composition. But it worked out swimmingly. I really like the Prowler's Claw tech here. So cool, right? That was, that was my favorite part. That was definitely <laughs> my favorite part of the show is Clid. They're going to win the game before the game damage graph. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of work done by basically everyone, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, you know, BDD always able to perform on his Azir. He was zoning the Quinn in the early stages of the game. And I think, I think that initial lane swap was just so strong from Gen.G. Afrika always found themselves playing from behind. And, uh... You know, they had a few hiccups there towards the middle of the game, but then they rallied and uh, Ruler kills the jungler. They take a Baron and then it's over. And it's just both of these games had really decisive moments where Gen G just decided to win. And it's just yeah. so cool. And, and in their weakest moments, too, they made the right decisions. They had the lane swaps. They...